Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Definition of inverse cosine function or arc cosine function. Arc cosine function is also denoted by cos inverse. Arc cosine function is also denoted by cos inverse. To understand the definition of inverse cosine function, it is good to know the functions chapter, especially the definition of bijective function and the definition of inverse of a function. However, I will explain those points here also. Let's start the definition of inverse cosine function. Definition The function cos from closed interval 0, pi to closed interval minus 1, 1 is bijective function. You observe here cos starts from closed interval 0, pi. Cos function domain is taken as closed interval 0, pi. Actually, from trigonometry, we know that cos is a function whose domain is set of all real numbers to closed interval minus 1, 1. This is the domain and range of cos function. You observe here, domain of cos function is all real numbers. From trigonometry chapter, we know that domain of cos function is all real numbers. But we restricted domain of cos function as closed interval 0, pi. What I want to say, cos function domain is a set of all real numbers, then it is not a bijective function. If it is not a bijective function, inverse of this function does not exist. That's why we are restricting domain of cos function from set of all real numbers to observe here, set of all real numbers to closed interval 0, pi. Why it must be bijective? In functions chapter, we have a theorem that if a function is bijective, if and only if inverse of a function exists. If a function is bijective, then inverse exists. You observe here, when we say a function is bijective function, a function which is uh, both 1 1 function and onto function. Now I will check uh, cos from set of all real numbers to closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Is this function is bijective or not? I will check it. See what is domain here? All real numbers. I will take two real numbers. One is pi by 2. Another one is 3 pi by 2. These two are two different real numbers. What is cos pi by 2 value? Cos pi by 2 value is what from trigonometry table you know that cos pi by 2 value is 0. What is the value of cos 3 pi by 2? Cos 3 by 2. 3 pi by 2. From trigonometry table we know that cos 3 pi by 2 value is 0. Or else we can say that cos of odd multiple of pi by 2 is 0. You observe different elements in the domain of cos function are having same image. Cos pi by 2 value is 0 cos 3 pi by 2 value is 0. Different elements in the domain of cos function are having same image. So is this cos function is 1 1 function? Is this cos is 1 1 function? Cos from set of all real numbers to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 is not 1 1. This function is not 1 1. If this function is not 1 1 function, then this is not bijective. See, what I want to say, if cos function, cos function, if we take domain from set of all real numbers to closed interval minus 1 comma 1, then this function is not bijective. Why it must be bijective? In functions chapter, we have a theorem that if a function is bijective, if and only if inverse of a function exists. If a function is bijective, then inverse exists. Inverse exists, then it is bijective. Okay. So, here if we take cos function from closed interval 0, comma pi, if we restrict domain of the function, see, I will quickly draw the uh, graph of a cos function in the interval 0 to pi. In the interval 0 to pi, cos function will be looks like this. This is a, uh, this is a 0 and this is a pi by 2 and this is pi. 
you observe in the interval 0 to pi cos function is looks like this if we draw any horizontal line it cuts the curve at only one point in the interval 0 to pi so if i restrict domain of cos as closed interval 0 comma pi then this function is 1 1 function if i restrict domain of cos function from set of all real numbers to closed interval 0 comma pi this function is 1 1 function is it is on to yes it is a on to function for example at this a particular y value particular y value if you want x value that x value you can that x value you will get from here that x value you will get here for this particular value there exists x value here like that if you take any particular y value in its codomain there exists at least one pre image there exists a pre image that's what i am saying if you are having good knowledge of bijective function understanding this is very easy what i want to say cos function domain is a set of all real numbers then it is not a bijective function if it is not a bijective function inverse of this function does not exist that's why we are restricting domain of cos function from set of all real numbers to observe here set of all real numbers to closed interval 0 comma pi so if i take cos function from uh, closed interval 0 comma pi to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 then it is a bijective function so for other definition we will continue if it is a bijective function then then the function cos inverse from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval 0 comma pi is defined by see from the definition of inverse of a function if f from a to is bijective then its inverse is defined from b to a you observe here cos inverse is defined from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval 0 comma pi see the function cos from closed interval 0 comma pi to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 is a bijective function then the function cos inverse from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval 0 comma pi is defined by how this function is defined this function is defined by see here is defined by cos inverse x equals to theta if and only if x equals to cos theta x equals to cos theta see this is very very important while doing problems we use this point very frequently how this function is defined cos inverse x equals to theta if and only if x equals to cos theta try to understand the function cos from closed interval 0 comma pi to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 is a bijective function if the function is bijective then only its inverse exists that's why we restricted domain of the cos function from set of all real numbers to closed interval 0 comma pi so if cos function domain is restricted to closed interval 0 comma pi to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 then it is bijective if it is bijective then its inverse exists and how its inverse is defined if cos is bijective function then cos inverse is defined from b to a that means cos inverse is defined from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval 0 comma pi and it is defined by how it is defined cos inverse x equals to theta if and only if x equals to cos theta actually while doing problems if you saw anywhere cos inverse x equals to theta see here if you if you see that cos inverse x equals to theta that can be written as x equals to cos theta cos inverse x equals to theta cos inverse x equals to theta can be written as x equals to cos theta you try to understand i cannot say like this if we take cos inverse to this side simply it will become cos theta that's it so this is the definition of inverse cosine function and there are five points you have to remember uh, from the definition of inverse cosine function what is that first point first point and the first point is domain of cos inverse you observe here domain of cos inverse domain of cos inverse is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 range is closed interval 0 comma pi i hope you are understanding cos inverse is a function defined from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 to closed interval 0 comma pi that's why domain of this function is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and range of this function is closed interval 0 comma pi 
and second point this is important point to avoid the confusion while doing problems what is the value of cos inverse of 2 cos inverse of 2 what is the value of cos inverse of 2 you please understand cos inverse is defined from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 cos inverse of 2 value is what cos inverse 2 is defined cos inverse 2 is not defined cos inverse 2 is not defined why cos inverse 2 is not defined because 2 is in the interval closed interval minus 1 comma 1 2 is in this interval no 2 is not in this interval so that's why cos inverse 2 is not defined cos inverse of x x is in which it where it belongs to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and third important point third important point is principal solution of cos inverse lies in closed interval 0 comma pi principal solution of cos inverse lies in closed interval 0 comma pi while doing uh, uh, problems based on principal solution this point is very useful principal solution of cos inverse lies in closed interval 0 comma pi and fourth point you observe a definition how it is defined cos inverse x equals to theta if and only if x equals to cos theta you observe in this two things are there one is x another one is theta please try to understand in this definition there are two things one is x and another one is theta what is x x is always lies in between minus 1 comma 1 you observe the second point cos inverse of 2 is not defined because this 2 is not in this interval closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so from the definition cos inverse x equals to theta if and only if x equals to cos theta in this x is always in this interval closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and theta is always belongs to closed interval 0 comma pi that is the range of this function fifth point there is a chance that students will confuse that cos inverse x equals to 1 by cos x actually both are not same they are different cos inverse x is different 1 by cos x is different i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye